what <laughs> good evening my name is dr susan fennick and i am the ceo and founder of juvenile justice impact and tonight we have with us anthony arthur and lauren haney they have an incredible story a heart-wrenching story of being a victim of child protective services and the injustice in the juvenile justice system i can't thank you guys enough for being with us tonight Thank you, thank you, and thank you for calling in from California. Thank you for finding us, and this is a place where we want people to feel safe and to feel that they have a place where they can express themselves, and we always want to know that, we want the listeners to know that if, if they have a similar experience, that they're, they're not alone. So, Anthony and Lauren, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Oh, thank you very much for having us. No problem. Glad to be here. So how is it, tell us Tell us a little bit about your story. How is it that you fell victim to Child Protective Services, Ooh. the juvenile justice system, family court? We've, yeah. We have about 45 minutes, and I'm just wanting to make sure that I hear everything, and hopefully I can I help do. you, and we want to want this to be a safe place. Well, it all started uh, when uh, we gave birth to a beautiful, beautiful uh, baby girl. It was actually October 28, 2012. And um, uh, she was beautiful. Uh, she still is beautiful. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, she was, there was, she had no problem. She, you know, she came home with us the next day. And uh, uh, someone, I, we never, you know, they don't tell you who, but someone called CPS. And Why? They got, and then it came into our lives. But why and was why was CPS called? They don't tell you. You know, they they won't tell you why they were called or who called or anything like that. They just uh, they they come knocking on the door and don't they don't tell you anything. They just come knocking on the door and start you know accusing you of things and like like they start accusing Lauren of using uh, drugs, but she didn't use drugs. <laughs> you know what I mean, like she got she got swabbed every day. Was it a setup of some kind? I mean, it had to have been of some sort because it just, you know, to this day, we don't understand what happened. I mean, um, but we weren't worried about it at the time. You know, we weren't worried about it because, you know, uh, we're clean. We were, you know, we were, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, uh, she's like, well, I'm going to come every day. And she swabbed Lauren every day. And like I said, I told people, I tell people about that and they think we're crazy. Like, oh, they came every day. They literally came every they day. They ended up opening a case on us and... <laughs> But does it, it? It does. It seems kind of. It seems kind of um, gray that if you just have a baby, why would they, out of the clear blue sky, somebody, be like? Somebody, uh, I don't know if maybe was, someone had a vendetta of some kind, right, or right, right. you know, I mean, we like I said, they don't they don't tell you who and they don't or take that but, into consideration whatsoever. Right? They, they, and 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 they listen to that person. They don't even want to hear what you have to say. You know what I mean? Like, when well, they come into our home, we are we have a beautiful home. I mean, we have, we have. She has more than every anything she'll ever need. My daughter had. I mean, uh, I mean, we did everything the right way. And we were just <laughs> brand new parents. We were, yeah, we're just brand new parents and loving life. And when these people got into our lives, we weren't even worried about it because we're like, we're not doing anything wrong. So, you know what I mean, we'll just do what they tell us to do and we'll get over it. Well, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> you know, like they ended up, <laughs> they ended up just destroying our lives to the extreme. I mean, they literally came to my house every day and, and swabbed Lauren I know, but day. were you able to ask these people? Like, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people in my life, they, they, they get married, they have kids, they raise their children. Right. They don't have people berating them with drug tests. Why were they doing Why, that to you? Why were they doing somebody, that to you? Because somebody called. I, I, we, were we'll you able to find called. out who the somebody was? They don't. They they keep that anonymous. We trust me. We try. We tried thousands of times to find out who it was. Thousands of times. They do. They would. They do not tell tell you who is the person that called. They do it. Uh, anom, uh, you know, anonymous. But <laughs> let me tell you. Like I said, we weren't worried about it. So they told us to start doing, uh, so, so this, for, at first they came over every day and they were swabbing every day and everything was fine. And, uh, and then one day, um, she's like, we're not going to swab you today. And we said, okay. And then, but then she calls four hours later and says, uh, you know what? I changed my mind. You need to go down to this place and, um, and take, uh, take a drug test. And she, we said, that's fine too. So we go down there and she goes to take a drug test and this lady 
literally drops drops it and she had to pee again. Okay, so she pees again, and I guess she didn't know she's only a person and she can't pee that much. It wasn't enough pee, <laughs> so they said come back right when we open in the morning. And uh, and and then and we said that's fine. We get there at seven a.m. right when they open, and and her her the worker calls and says nope, just go home. I'm taking your guys' child. Didn't even give her the chance and to do it. She was only a month old. At only the a time. month old. She took her the day after Thanksgiving, so she was born on the 28th of October, and then the day after Thanksgiving, they came and took her. I and they, they had made me kick Anthony out, or else it was either I had to choose between my daughter or Anthony, and of course I said, okay, well, Anthony, you have to go. And I don't even know why they made me do yeah, that. Yeah, they ended up saying that I was, like, selling drugs or something, which is, which is outrageous. I never had a felony in my life. I've never been arrested for anything like that in my life. And it was just like, why would why, – I, I asked the lady, I said, why do you think that I'm this bad person? I don't understand. Okay, you know? so you guys – hold on. So you guys were just living your life. Everything was great. You get – you're together for 13, 14 years. You mm-hmm. decide you're ready to have a child. You have your child, and all of a sudden, all of this mayhem starts. Out of the clear blue sky, there's there's no records, yeah. there's no history, there's no... Right, correct. You know, yeah, I, we <laughs> couldn't believe it. We, we were, no, we're still in shock to this day. You know, like, it was just absolutely... So if you had to think to yourself, geez, if it could be, if it could be anyone, you know, because, you know, I, I just... It doesn't add up. I, no, it doesn't add I up. I mean, we <laughs> had our suspicions on who it could have been, but I, I mean, for someone to ruin your life like that, it's just, it's kind of hard. I mean, I mean, when they took our child, like uh, they, they gave us like you know days we could see her. You know, what is the and, name of your daughter? Uh, her name's Avery Joy Arthur. Ah, and how and old is she boy. now? She's nine now. She, she's nine. Um, luckily, my my parents adopted her, but I mean that's not what we wanted, you know. Like, and are, is... so are your parents close to where you are, so you get to see her? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, yes. kind of. I mean, she lives about half an hour away. Oh, that's but okay. and we don't get to see her as much as as we want to see her. We wish we could, you know, have her again. I mean, so like, you, oh, so you do not, so so you lost custody. Yep. And you, I can tell okay, you, I can so you tell you lost custody. So people are coming into your home. They're questioning mm-hmm. you. You lose custody. They wind up with your mom, and well, but you I mean, have but there's no reason. There's no reason why you lost custody. Well, I'm, well, no. That's 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 what we're trying to say. Like, the, well, I mean, how's the answer? No. Uh, well, but we didn't do anything wrong at all. I, I told you what happened. I told you that we went. She went in to go. My mom picked us up, and we went. Uh, she went to go take the um the 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 drug test that they she wanted her to take and the lady when she um, when she dropped it or whatever um she had to pee again she went to go pee again and um and it wasn't enough so so they told us to come back in the morning and then that's when that's when we got there 7 a.m my mom took us in the morning 7 a.m and the uh the worker calls calls the office right there and says don't let her take the pee test tell her to go home i'm taking the child didn't even give her the chance to to take it it was insane and and then we, uh, uh, Lauren, Lauren tells her, just swab me. I didn't, I, you know, like, just swab me again right now. Like, I didn't do anything, you know? Okay, and, so they were accusing you of drug right. use. Remember, remember I told you earlier, the first time we went to court, this lady, the, the worker, didn't, I guess, didn't think that we would even show or whatnot. But we, of course, we show on me, my mom, my dad. Uh, Lauren, we showed, obviously. And um, we get there, and obviously we, we get her... Um, you know her her report you know and we read this we're reading this report we're like what the heck it was like reading a fictional story i, I promise you i've never heard of so much rubbish in my life i mean it was just insane and how badly they made us out to be yeah. i mean this lady said that she saw a smoking crack with my mother you know when yeah. she was with my mother she was with my mother and they were looking through the window i said mom is this true and she's like and she's like obviously it's not true i've never gone with her to your house and looked at the windows i'm like why is she lying and she's like i don't know she's like but that that is not true so i had my mother go on the stand and you know and make it clear that that never happened because that is outrageous you know and then i heard and previous to the podcast you had some security Oh yeah, I mean, 
these these people. I mean, I okay. I, I this whole thing yeah, is yeah, just yeah. this whole thing is just. I mean, people get married or they they've been together for as many years as you've had. You decide mm-hmm. to have a child. You have a child, and all of a sudden, this explosion of chaos right. enters enters your life. The worst thing that's ever happened to me. I, in my I mean, life. seriously, it just sounds to me like it's there's. Absolutely- it sounds to me like there was more involved than. I, I I'm I'm trying to piece it together. <laughs> I'm pretty. You know, I don't know exactly. I mean, I, mean, I thought I maybe feel, it was my I feel sister. The same way you do. Trust me, exactly. We feel uh-huh. the exact same way. I mean, it was it, like how can I explain it? It's like a nightmare just dropped out of the sky, and and yeah. everything's great. Like, you 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 go through the celebration of finding out that you're pregnant right. because I know that could be one of the happiest days of your life, Which it and was, because that's me. because that's something that you've obviously planned on, and then you have your baby, and then all of a sudden. The worst uh, mistake that and all of a sudden the, the the black clouds come in and the lightning right. striking down on you. I mean, it, it sounds like a made for movie. You know, I mean, it's like it's like the worst thing that I ever did in my life was thinking that I could trust the system for a second and like be like, okay, well, we didn't do anything wrong, so let's just do what they told us to do. The the, the CPS people. Well, if I would have known better, well, how did so CPS know, get involved? I, I mean, I think maybe it could have been my sister who called, or or I mean, I'm not too sure, but. The thing is, is that we were, like, at first I was like, it's okay, we'll just jump through the hoops, we'll, tell, we'll do what they tell us to do, and we'll move on. Well, it, did, it wasn't that easy, you know, like. Because once they start, you don't get to argue with them, like, why are you in my life? Why are you coming after me? What right. did I, what, what did we do to deserve this? You know, they, they gave us appointments to go see our daughter twice well, a week. Wasn't there a way to find out? I mean... No, that they, they they will not. Well, they wouldn't tell me. Yeah, you know, or I mean, we tried so many times. Oh to yeah, find out we who, had so many meetings. With oh CPS. my gosh, well, they find out who you know said this, but they they're like it's anonymous. We can't tell you. And I said, I even told them. I said, why do you believe them over us? What did we do wrong to to have you not believe us? And then you, you know, had like, to have security, like for yeah, two no, months, they, like they armed security. guard security for two months. Yeah. Like what? The, I, I yeah. I'm like I cannot believe what I'm hearing. They, they Maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty we, good at piecing things together in the past you know, 25 years you know, of my life, but get, this is not get, making any sense. Right, I'm telling you, we didn't get the security. They got the security. Uh, the complex I was living in at the time. Oh right, okay. Well, I, I know there was security involved, so we, thank you right, for clarifying. Right. Uh, yeah, we didn't pay for it. Uh, they paid for it, and and they just. Uh, and we actually became really good friends with the security guard, which I which I think he's there now, but uh, with you. But, I mean, the what? security guard, he, we became good friends because he saw, like, you know, these people are just, kick, like, you know, picking on you all the time. My house got raided three times. They never found nothing. <laughs> my, they, they raided my home. They destroyed our home. It took us three months to clean it. And they didn't find nothing. What do you think they were looking for, Anthony? Um, I, if you I think, had to take a guess... What do you think oh, they were oh, looking for? Well, well since, since the lady put down that, oh, she, she saw a smoking drugs or something, with my, and my mom was with her, I'm, I'm assuming they were looking for some sort of drugs. As a matter of fact, I think I remember seeing that on the on warrant. I said, good luck, guys. I was like, you're not going to find any drugs here. They destroyed our home twice. They never, of course, they never found anything. What were they looking for? I, I don't know. Uh, whatever drugs they were looking for. But they, I mean, so they're, they're looking for drugs for a person who doesn't use drugs. Right. They were just going by. They were going by. They were going by the workers. Um, you know. I mean, that'd be like <laughs> someone coming by my house looking. I mean, I, oh, they, yeah. so they they raided your house looking for drugs when there's no they drugs. Destroyed it. I mean, absolutely destroyed my home three twice. It's called false information. I mean, so, somebody gave them a right. Home. Right. Okay. So, so someone gives them. So someone tips them I'm, off. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a CPS agent. So Honestly. hi, hi. Okay, so someone calls and they say hi. Um, I'm gonna tip you off for whatever reasons, and it sounds to me like it sounds quite honestly to me like I mean that people just had some a particular person well, or sure. people sure had something out for you, and yeah, this well, was well, possibly you know the only vendetta they can have. They wanted my child. Okay, we, when we were going to the um, we were going to every we, we never missed one visitation or court date or, court date or anything mm-hmm. like that they we would go to visitation and this lady would all of a sudden be like uh getting get, get a, a bulletin board 
and give pros and cons on the reasons why we should we should give our baby up for adoption and oh pros and cons yeah yeah and i'm sitting like 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 like, 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 like the girls do when they when they're dating someone the pros and cons and when they're Right. You know, I mean, like, it doesn't even like, make like, sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she was a car salesman. Like, she was a oh, car salesman. car salesman. Wonderful. And, and I'm sitting there like, I'm like, I'm like, lady, I'm like, you don't think that, I was like, oh, I was like, why we, Why do you think we go to every visitation? It is real. You know, I was like, we don't miss any visitations because we want our child. We will, we will do whatever it takes to get our child back. And she's like, she's like, well, I think that you should just, you know, give her up for adoption. She's with, she's with a nice family. She's with a nice family. And then we find out Wait that a these minute. people. Wait a minute. She went to a. Yes, she yes she was in a she was in a foster care. Oh God! At, at first, <laughs> uh, for the, for I'm, the first. Listen, I'm, months, I'm just so care. sorry. You know what? I'm I'm so sorry. I I'm so sorry, and I'm so disgusted, and I I, I don't even have, I don't even have the right words right now, because I I just. <sighs> when she was in foster care, that was the worst feeling. A father could ever feel. I can tell you that I, right I, now. And I know, I know what they're all about. I mean, I used to be the person that would go in and do the evaluations, and it, yeah. I mean, so not knowing, where, not knowing where your child is, and 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 who's taking care of your child, and so I mean, where 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 is she? Where is she now? Where where is she well, now? Yeah, see, what happened? What happened is, um, they told my my parents that she was withdrawing off of drugs. So I went to I went to her doctor. Your daughter? Yeah, yeah. This is how crazy these people were. I went to her doctor. I said, um, "Can you tell wait, me?" Wait, what wait, she wait, said wait, 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 wait. Anthony, hold on. You're telling yeah, me that you're. Yeah. They're telling me you're telling me that your daughter. They're telling no, me no. You're, they. You're telling me that your daughter was going through drug withdrawal at nine years old. No, 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 no. no. She, this is when she was just born. Oh, okay. this is, yeah. she wasn't. But she wasn't withdrawing. I went to her doctor. Her doctor said, "Anthony, how could she be withdrawing off uh, off of something uh, six months after she's born when she was born with nothing in her system?" I said, "I know, doctor. I was like, I understand that, but she's telling my parents this. Can you please write write down write it down or write write a note saying that they're that they're lying?" We got the and, the proof of her first stool. Yeah, we got the proof of, of of her drug test for the first stool, which was negative, negative, negative. And then he signed something saying that it's impossible for my daughter to withdraw, and she's absolutely she's she's one hundred percent healthy. And then I went to the um the hospital. And I went to the doctors there, and I, and I went to the NICU, and I asked them the same thing. I said, is it physically possible for a, a baby to withdraw six months later after she's born, and she was born with nothing in her system? And they started laughing at me like I was retarded. <laughs> and so so we had this big meeting, and I and I, well, my, my dad's there, my mom's there. and So um, were they accusing her of being born with heroin, opioids, methadone? Were there seizures involved? Nothing, what was no, going no, no. on? She was she was one hundred percent healthy. She they, uh, they were telling my parents this because my parents were saying to them, "I think we're going to take, um, you know, we're, we want to take custody." It was for a five thousand dollar bonus. Uh, so it's called custody. it's called neonatal absence syndrome, right? NAS, right? So. So, I know my daughter didn't have that though. <laughs> right, but I mean, I mean that's typically what it's called when a when a baby is. I don't when, know. I've never, right. My daughter didn't have that. Right, but, but I'm like, just saying. I mean, it. it so oh. that's what it's called. Nas, right? When when a baby is going through withdrawal when they're when they're born from a, a drug addicted a mother, right? So right, right. But but usually, uh, like you know, our daughter came home with us the next day. She uh, you, most babies go to the NICU or you know like or the you know like the the you know the NICU uh, for for babies. If they're withdrawing, you know, our daughter came home with us literally the next day because she had nothing in her system. She was, she was 100% healthy. I just, just don't understand why there was all of this drama because, and because accusations. What, what we found out is that they get a bonus for, um, for. Who's for, they? Uh, the, oh, oh, CPS. Oh, CPS. Okay. Yeah. yeah for, um, they get a bonus if, if, they, if, they're, uh, if they're able to get the baby and, and to adopt it out. So, so they didn't want my parents to get the baby because then they're not going to get the bonus. So they started telling my parents this crazy nonsense. And so when I brought the proof, you know, like I told you, I, I got the proof. Uh, we had a big, we had a big meeting. Like uh, there was like some, like two psychiatrists there. They were doing like, a, in a, in, you know, like a, like they were just listening in and all that. And I said, listen, I was like, look it, why are you lying to my parents? Here's the, here's the proof that my daughter is 100% healthy. Why are you lying to my father, telling him that? 
that my daughter is um is did she have any symptoms i mean right. what no, was the right. proof i mean because if someone's telling me that if i just had a baby last week and then all of a sudden they have nas uh what's the symptoms well, this, and then what I told him is, I was like, this the only way that they were lying. No, yeah, they, there was no symptoms. What I okay, told him so is, everyone's drug posi- everyone's uh, drug drug testing negative, right? Everyone, the baby, the baby uh, did Anthony, too. Lauren, Avery, everyone's no one has drugs, Correct. but they're accusing of using drugs. Correct, because they didn't want to give my parents the, the baby. They were telling my parents that uh, that she's withdrawing, so my parents wouldn't get the baby, so she could, uh, so she could, so she could uh, adopt it to this family that really wanted it, so she can get that bonus. Did you ever think that that family was the one who set this whole thing up? Oh my God! They, I mean, you know what? They, they probably could have one hundred percent. It maybe, maybe, maybe not in the beginning, but I never thought about that. Honestly, I never thought about that. But this family had attachments to my daughter, and it was insane. Well, there you go. I mean, they did not Avery want us to have baby. After back. Avery came um, to his parents, where's Avery right now? She's at my mother's. Um, my mother has a, a, a now. My, oh, my mother adopted see. her now, which wasn't. It's not. Which is not what we wanted. But you know, like. But yeah, it's better than foster care. Or or foster family. Because, but she knows who. Okay, we are. so if you're We're in her life. so I mean okay, so your mom she lives a half an hour away. Yeah. She. No, not it's, a half. Well, twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. In. Okay. <laughs> In so uh, she, so is yeah. your mom? Um, is she, oh, yeah. is, she, she we, is she employed? Oh no! Well, no. She she collects. Uh, um, she collects. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, she's old. Uh, she's seventy. So she she collects. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Social Security. Social Security, right? So would there be a way that you can all live together? Oh, um, I mean, you know, we did for a long time, and and then. And and then my my uh, my dad said as long as long as that uh, you know we have her you can stay with us. Mother. But this was a whole different issue. And and then when my dad passed away, my mother wanted to um, uh, be on her own, and and we had to leave. And I was like, why are you going to do this to to our daughter? We've raised our daughter now pretty much for the last seven years, and it's just a whole different subject. But but we are getting more closer and closer. We're trying we're trying to find a place we uh, next to her. her weekends. We get her. We I mean we've been getting her on weekends. But I mean, uh, we're yeah, we're looking for a place now uh, closer. Hey, but it is getting better, yeah. But she so decided, you live yeah. so so you live about twenty five minutes apart. So I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I haven't we haven't gotten into like the logistics of where you work and all this other stuff. But I mean, mm-hmm. would it, would it be possible for for your mother or you to move closer to each other? Yeah, then that's what that's that's what we're doing right now. We're trying oh, okay, to okay, um, good. You know that's what, that's that's our that's our our big plan is to get closer to her and eventually um, maybe the next year or two she she comes live with us you know that's up to my mother but um, but you know but the first years of her life I mean it traumatized us you know absolutely I mean, I'll never forget the day they they took our child from us I've never cried like that in my entire life I mean my my father literally had to. You know, I don't. Want, I'm not trying to say this, but you gotta give me a, a two shots of tequila just to calm me down because I was just like so. I was just so like, couldn't stop crying. You know, like I couldn't believe she's being taken for no reason. You know, and, and I mean, I'll never forget that day. I mean, it was traumatizing. It still is traumatizing to this day that they took her for no reason. And what was the? I'm so sorry. I, I, I you know, I. Oh, and what was the need for the security? Oh, I don't know. Is the people? Uh, the you people don't know? Us. Um. Well, you know. Um. I think he's right there. He could tell you right now. I mean, like you know, he could tell you what 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 he was hired for. Well, I was hired for two months to check on them, but I don't find actually nothing. I find out that his father is actually well known. He lives in a private country club with almost a million dollar point five home, and I was like, this kid is not from the street or anything like that. And I was getting paid nine thousand dollars for two months that I was there. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. And that was and it. Just and, and he was like scared of us. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, because they made they made, they they made, made us out to be, out to be monsters. monsters. Exactly, and it was and just. I get close to him, I never even know who he was until one day he come out of the car. I, I don't know what I was looking for. I was just sitting down, looking to the window, and like I was in a private car, patrol car looking straight up to his window, but I, when he actually come out twice, 
it's like one day I just come up to him and introduce myself. It's like, oh, I've been watching. You know, it's like, oh, you got hired. Like automatically, he's like, you got hired to look for me. Like I was like, what the hell? How did he know? You know what I mean? He's not supposed to know. Yeah, we we invited him in the house. And yeah, we like, he did. <laughs> he did. He did. No, but you were not supposed to know that they were the security. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, oh I, my I didn't. God. Know they were the security. Yeah. So well, you're so you're not supposed to, so they weren't supposed to know that you're security, but you're like, hey, what's up? Well, no, they come up to me. Well, they come up to me. Well, yeah, he noticed, he noticed that that you know these are they just like, normal like, people. Oh. You know, we weren't they, we weren't these monsters that they were saying we were. And yeah. so when we met, he, he got to know us, and he got to know that hey, these guys are pretty, Who hired pretty nice you? people. A private company from the courthouse. Which I didn't even I know until know he told me. I the company was. Don't you? What's fine? Okay, hold on. I want to know who the company was from the courthouse, we, and then we can <laughs> dig back deep and find out how this all started. Oh, what this they, is what I do. Cool this is what I love to do. No, seriously, I I put this I stuff together. I mean, I so what we okay? So then we find out who hired him, why he was hired, and then trace trace it back. It was like after the like, two times. Who, that was, we, who was the woman, or who was who was the person you said? Is, uh, I got you so know. I told you we did. got raided twice. So after we got raided, hey, after we got so raided twice, they found okay. nothing. No, wait, they, wait, they wait. Got, so, wait, they got so when when they hired me, their power, their power got cut off right in the middle of the summer. It was like yeah. 120 degrees, and the the. Store, who did you say originally that we had interest in your daughter? Uh, oh, the Foster family. The okay, one. there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So all we need to do is we need to go trace it back and back and back and back. And sooner or later, the truth comes to the comes to the surface. It always does. Right, right. Because if they're if they had the higher security, I mean, someone literally cut my power and my, no, my my air conditioning unit in the summer in Palm Springs, and we and we we had no idea. I had I had two different companies come out, and they both said it was tampered with. It was just like, what is yeah. going on you here? Like, we're getting... he had the money. He had a lot of money. He had a lot, a bunch of money. Anthony, he had a brand new car. He and then they start hitting his car. They will start vandalizing his car. I mean, it was so. Brutal. And nothing is caught on security tapes. No, but because I was I was hiding in the graveyard at nighttime for them. I was no, running. I mean security like security surveillance. Uh, we didn't. Cameras. We didn't have video cameras in that. Night, yeah, in they the, never in worked. That they never work in their area. Oh, of course not. Yeah. So, <laughs> right, right. right, of course not. Yep. Never work in area. Security, security cameras and tapes always go missing when that when they're supposed to, right? Right, right, right. I'm not going to go, in, mean, not gonna go into my like stories, but you know, it's just it's not my podcast. But no, I, I've had, oh, I've had, had a, no. It sounds just, like something out of a even, out of a movie. Even but like, like, you know. moving out, he, yeah. he was helping us move out, and oh, he was ordered yeah. to not help us. No, yeah, I was ordered not to help. And, and there he is crazy. carrying the boxes. Law enforcement. I mean, I'm talking about Tim. <laughs> and you ask him if he remembers. There was this. There was this Chinese guy, like in the tree, yes. videotaping our front door. And yeah, I go and I, was, I, 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 go, I go to him. I say, like the, the guy on Ocean's Eleven that goes in the contortionist. I mean, what the heck? Are we no, let me tell you. No, okay. I, I promise you. I so remember you that. Can, so remember you can that get a little idea. His father is well, have a lot of money. Like literally, has like well known. So he was helping Anthony. And all of a sudden, everything got twisted out. And I never figured out what was going on. Like, I was there, and I said, Anthony, what are they doing this to you? What's going on? Right. Like, like he was living in a private country club, right? I yeah. Mean, private country and then, club. I never bothered his soul. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was, I, was friends with, I was friends with my neighbors. I mean, like, our... our <laughs> It was it's, it's it's crazy. crazy. Right across the way from us. What, I mean, ha- was- what have we done to take all of the necessary steps no we did everything we did everything they told us to do and because my daughter um because my daughter was such a young age what happened what happened is this right here they um they wouldn't find um they 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 couldn't find us a a, a program so they told us to find our own program we finally found the program and we started doing it we were like halfway through the program and we went to court and we we needed an extension my sister uh lost her kids and she um and uh, and uh, she didn't even try to do the program and and the judge I remember I was there the judge gave her a six month extension to finish. Well, we were we were almost done with the program and I asked the judge for a six month extension and then you know we'll be done we can get our, our daughter back. He didn't, he denied me. All right, there's got to be a way that I mean he denied me. There there 
there's always a way to take steps backwards and piece everything together. And I, mean, I would, I would love to do that. I would love to know why. I mean, why, I, why this all happened. No, I mean seriously. Like, I mean, this is this is what I've done, and this is this is my passion, right? So, we're not going to get into how you know, how like, I can help like you right there, figure all know, this why out. This happened to us. Right why, now, why, because why we only have about a half like an this? hour, but. Um, you know, this has affected my whole life. I mean, I mean, this is the first time we we, we talked about this in a long time because literally it hurts us so bad. I'm to so even talk sorry. About this. I'm so <clears throat> sorry, and it's just. I mean, you know, do you know how bad we want to be with our daughter right now? Every every step, every every moment of every day, take her to school and just do normal things. with normal. No, I know. Do. Make the lunches and hit the birthdays right, right. and the holidays and, and the just I mean, everything. You know, it's, it's just not Cookies right. and. You know, just I mean, the no, family I mean, things. Just the family making dinner together. No, I get it. Right, I mean, I thought, right, right. it's all, all my daughter wants is that too. And she's nine years now that she's nine. That's all she wants too. And it's like, you know, we're there for the weekend at my mom's, and you know, but a week the weekend is just not enough. You know, like like it's, it's, it's horrible. You know, and, you know. So I mean, how do we? Mom, how do we? How do, how right how is that ever going to change? How is that ever going to change? I mean. How is it? How, how can it go from weekends to 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 to? to, to I mean, you're the parents. Um, I, that's that's why we're looking for a place closer. I think if we get a place closer, and uh, our because right now we're in a one bedroom place, we get a two bedroom place, and she has her own room. I mean, that's what we're that's what we're doing right now, working on. We're looking we're looking for a place for the last like couple months, and uh, I think I think uh, we'll get a lot more um, a lot more time with her. Um, eventually, maybe uh, even full time. Uh, that's what that's my goal in life. You know? I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, I said my goal in life is to. Is no, no, to, I, uh, I, no. I thought I thought someone that was with you said something. Sorry. No, 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 no. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this the, has been going on for nine years. It's been going on for nine years. Yeah, uh, but I mean, like, uh, I mean, we were, we were, uh, we were raising her for the first because, uh, like. Uh, from like she right when my parents got her and, and, and adopted her, my dad said we could stay with we could stay with them and raise her. So we raised her until she was six seven. or seven, and then my father passed away, and my mom wanted to get a smaller place, and and she told us we had to leave, and you know we had we have no say in it because you know she has control, you know. So Lauren, so so the so Avery is with Anthony's mom or your mom. Anthony's mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how is your relationship with her? His mom? Yes. Um, it's so so, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, you know, look at her and just forgive everything, but I have what to What do get you mean forgive? That. What what are we forgiving? Well, for because it sounds to me, if she got custody, it wasn't her choice. It was just well, court you know, mandated. She could, she could have done they guardianship. They could have done guardianship. They could have done guardianship. And why didn't she? You want, honestly, because you want to know the truth? It's because my father said it to me, it's because of the money. I, which I don't understand that. Wait. I think he was. I think he was getting money from the state or whatever he was doing. I think he he told me he was. He's like it's because he needs the money. Is actually the words he said. Even the adoption guy said, "Why don't you give them a chance?" And my father looked at me and looked at me and said, "Because I need the money." <laughs> so, a so Avery is with my mother. Uh, and my mother and my father um, adopted her, but my my dad passed away a couple years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And Lauren, they're too. not with mother. your family. Oh, my mom talks to his mom every day, and uh, my mom lives in. Salt Lake City, Utah. So um, she's kind of far away, but she's like ready. On if anything would ever happen to his mom, my mom would be right there. Both my parents and would be right there. I'm moving down here as soon as she retires very soon, which I think will be another big hope. Yeah, that's supposed to happen. So, is there anything? that the listeners 
Is there anything that would be helpful for the listeners to help piece this together a little bit better? No, but for for listeners, I would say if CPS ever gets into your life, make sure you know your your the laws and make sure you know get a lawyer and get a lawyer and make sure. Did you, you get, know a get a lawyer? No, we got we got a public defender, and that was the worst mistake of both of our lives. We didn't have the money at the time. That, to get yeah, a lawyer. but if you have the money, and don't don't think that the, that they they can just walk in your life because like cause that's one thing we learned later down the line is that you know when she came into our, when she came into our door the first time, we didn't have to open the door to her. You know, but we just did it because we, we knew, know, just know your right. Because we, we thought we we, knew, we weren't doing anything wrong. So we, we were like, it's OK. You so know? know your rights and also know the rights that you've lost. Right, right, right. Or, or that they could try to take because, I mean, like I said, they like, act like they're God they, and they act like they're, they're your best friend until they get in the door and then they just destroy lives. And uh, I mean, you can literally tell them, get a get a warrant, you know, turn them away. Don't let them just come into your lives because they are not there to help you. <clears throat> And and they, and they talk about reunification. I promise you that it, that that's not what they care about. No, they do not. So you, before we got on this podcast, you were talking about all the services that they had they had promised you, but they were not available. Uh, yeah, they they pretty much told us to find them ourselves. I mean, these people wanted our child that bad. Like I said, that she was like trying to be like a car salesman, oh, saying you, you shouldn't have your daughter because of this that. And I said, do you think we come in to, to every visitation because we don't want our daughter? Like, <laughs> and we never, I never signed an adoption paper. Right, that's another thing. So never stay. Well, why would you? You're the parents, right? Right. right. That, like you're supposed to have to sign <laughs> the adoption papers in order for her to be legally adopted. It's so your I child. How... Why would you? I mean, why? I mean, why would any parent sign adoption papers? It's your right. kid. Well, I mean, you you plan on sister, having the baby. It it's your just, baby. It was just, his sister did it willingly because but she didn't want her sister. child. Like, it was it was just very janky the way they that that it went went about. Like we were supposed to get some paperwork, like first class, like handed to us that we never got. I mean, I don't know if my parents forged her names or signatures. I, I don't I, I don't know, but that's what I'm pretty sure happened because we never signed anything. And the whole situation, how how she got adopted, was just very janky. And <laughs> and and these people will just do anything to get that little bonus they get for for get, for uh, for you know getting you a, a up, child adopted. So what was the up, prime? What was the primary reason you lost custody? Oh, because um, because we we when they told us to find the program ourselves. It took us a second, you know. That's their job is to find this program for us to go to the mom's pro- mom and dad's program. It's their job for, to, to get us that program. And then they told us it, it was because of her age, and, and, and because of her age, um, we you have to uh, do the program within six to nine months. Well, shit, it took us four months to find the program, and, and we were in the program. We were doing the program. We just needed uh, an extension to finish it. And the judge turned us down. Turned turned us gave us. I said, Your Honor, we need a six month extension just to finish the. Um, just to finish the program so we can re- get our child. Re- but why were you in a program when you've done nothing? Oh. That's, why were you in a program? That, that, that was that, our number one question, that, but right. we stopped fighting that. Right. That was our, our we that was question. I mean, why? why right, exactly. What's all these programs? I mean, why would you have to go into a program? You got, you're together for 13 right. years. You have a child. And all of a sudden, you wind up in this. Because they said, if you want your child back, you're going to do this program. And, and it's like you're but right. Why, why would you? Be, why would you be in a program when it was otherwise never necessary in your lives before? We because that's we what they said. They said you know. Questions. They said they said because if you don't, you're not getting your back. You know. <laughs> okay, I mean, so they, they, so they, you go through the program. Crazy. You go through the you go through the non otherwise non necessary program. So you go through that, mm-hmm. and then what? Been, um, so and they, when we finally found it. Yes. So we're, we're we're in it for like four months. And um and then uh we had, we needed two more months to finish it. It was a six month program, and and that's when. But uh, how had, did you qualify to be in this program when otherwise you would have oh, never been in this program? Really, otherwise, oh, never oh, in your life before. To get in the program? Oh, because when we There's found the CPS. program, CPS fucking. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. CPS uh, gave told them um to um you know that we to let us do the program so we can get our child back. It's just the part that oh. really sucked is that they wouldn't let us finish the program. Four, Wait a minute. We wasted four months of our lives because when we go back to the, uh, to see the judge, you know, four months later, we need we need just a two month extension, not a six month. We need a two month extension to finish it. If they would have told me to jump off a bridge so I can get my daughter back, I would I would have done anything. You know, <laughs> right, right. At that point, but once they have you in a grasp, they got you, and and, and it's like you know they they start making you jump through hoops 
and so you, left at night. And, and there's so much to this story. So you were telling me that the police were not leaving you alone? No, no, they came to my house. They, they why, my why, why, why? I mean, I don't. None oh, of this I, makes sense to me. And I'm, I'm. Pfft. They were looking for drugs. They were looking for drugs. Because right, CPS, but they're looking for drugs when when, the, when there's no drugs around. How does this right, make right. sense? Because the CPS agent told told um told in her little in her little thing. I remember I told you that she said that she saw a smoking crack with my mother, and my mother's like she's crazy. That never happened. And so we put her on the stand, and we got the and that lady ended up being fired. She was terminated. She was terminated for you lying. got pulled over three times. No, no, me? Yeah, we did. I got pulled over a couple times, but they, I'm, I never had any drugs on me. And, and so when they came but to my house, telling, oh, one, yeah, day, one day I pulled up to my house, and they were there, and they were and they destroyed my home, and they and they they left empty-handed. You know, so, like of so, course so I didn't have anything. So, <laughs> so PD used to call me. And you used to get pulled over a lot. I was telling because PD, right. Well, they, PD. Right. They, were, they, they, they would wait for me. Now, the they reason they were like calling me. They would wait really for me to leave my complex calling, and pull me over. They were <laughs> calling me, letting me know what, what he was doing. I had a report. So I did like these pages and it's like, what's going on? So I never got to the bottom of this. But police couldn't leave him alone. Like, Why? Like, why? Why? Because I don't know the case. I, don't know I case. wish I knew why. I wish I knew why. I, 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 I didn't know the case. I had, I had to move to cities. To, and then to, he has a beautiful stuff. daughter. Beautiful daughter, like an angel. She blue eyes, blonde hair. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not eyes. bad. These people wanted our daughter. They wanted, they yeah. wanted to put her Okay, so that's, so bad. at the end of the day, someone had a vendetta. To me, it sounds like and this is what, unfortunately, they put you through. And I mean, well, yeah, that's I what it sounds like to me. I mean, I'm, I can't yeah, express absolutely. how sorrowful I feel right now. I'm disgusted. I'm, 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 I, I just, I'm. Yeah, trust me. I mean, we've been, we've been feeling this way for the last eight, nine years. You know, it's just, we, we, we still. I mean, Lauren cries about it to this day, almost every day. How bad she. Well, I think there's a way that we could. There's, there's always um, the the dark always comes to light, right? So yeah, I mean, I I would love to look into this more and and figure out why this really happened. I mean, I mean, we've tried, we've tried, uh, but people always get turned. We always get turned. They always turn us the other way, and it's like. You know, I, I would love to see the adoption paperwork. I would love to see my, oh my I would love to see my full signature. I, I know someone, uh, you know, did because I didn't sign no uh, sign no adoption papers. You know, and it's like, I don't know. They they just wouldn't stop until they got what they wanted, and that was my child. Oh my. I got very lucky that my father and my mother uh, took her out of foster care and brought her, brought her into their home. And that was very hard to do. Like, remember, I told you how they how they told her, told my parents that she was on like withdrawing, and it took me to go to the both the doctors and show my parents that they were lying, you know. And then then my father was like, "I want her in my house today. I want her. I want her home today." And I mean, they were so upset because now they're not getting that little bonus for for selling my daughter. <laughs> you know, they ended up getting the bonus because they adopted. She got adopted. No, I don't think they get it. I don't. I read that they don't get a bonus if it goes to family. So then, how do they win by having your parents having custody? Oh, they didn't win, you know. But they, but, but they almost did. They, you know, they were they had my parents on their side for the longest time until until I got the proof. I got the proof from her doctors and all that, and show my parents like, hey, how are you not listening to me? You're listening to these people that are liars. And you know, I show my dad the proof, and my, and that's when my dad uh, we had we called a meeting, and my dad was like, I want my granddaughter home today and they're like mr arthur are you sure she's still withdrawing he's like don't give me that sh- don't give me that crap i read the paperwork i read the doctor what the doctors wrote um you're lying to me you're lying to them i want her home today or i'll call the police and they did they gave my and that's when my dad uh got her out of foster care and and brought her into my, my parents home oh what a windy mm-hmm. road and I'm, I'm just i mean but for them to do that is just so disgusting yeah I just, you know what um, I mean? To lie, to lie to my parents, to, to everybody about <clears throat> my daughter's withdrawing. It's just crazy. My daughter is never... And I told my dad, I said, if she's withdrawing, it's because the foster care people are giving her drugs. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I'm like, that's the only way she's withdrawing. Because, I mean, I mean, we didn't give her drugs, obviously. I mean, she was born with no drugs in her system. So if she's withdrawing, the foster care people are giving her drugs. <laughs> you know? I'm like, I need her out of foster care today. I mean, just absolutely disgusting. 
you would think you would think that the the that this country would want to reunify you know i mean there's people out there that have their kids and then they're i mean they're just in the worst positions you know what i mean like i mean and you know what i mean like i mean there there are probably kids out there that that shouldn't be with their parents but then you got people but you know but this wasn't one of the cases we were literally picked on and they dismantled our... If you had to think of... If you had to guess... If you had to take a guess... On who called? Yes. I would say maybe my sister. Why? Uh, she had a vendetta against me. She was like... She was very... um, Because she was on drugs for a long time. And she was a... Uh, and, and, you know, she hated the fact that I, I, you know, I was raising, I was pretty much raising her daughter and, and, uh, with my parents and, um, you know, like, uh, I was, were you ever like, able to have a case? Family. You had a very good relationship with this whole family. Uh, yeah, I had a great relationship with my family and she, she, That's she, something that she wanted. She, uh, she hated me for that. Like, she, you know, it, which, uh, you know, she finally got help. Thank God. And she's, she's been sober now for like seven years, seven years and I'm proud, of her, so proud of her. But I mean, like the. Have you ever sat and down and asked, "What the heck was that noise?" I don't know. I heard that too. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I no. I'm I'm sitting amongst a lot of electronics here, so I wasn't right, sure right, if right. it was something that was about to go left. No, I mean, um, she said, she no. Said, I just no, um. You know, have you but, ever uh, sat uh, down with her and just asked her, like, "Hey, course, could you be course, honest?" But, and you know, she says no, but you know, uh, she wouldn't tell me if she did or not anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, yeah, well, she was, I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know, 75% sure it was her or, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it could have been a lot of things, you know, who knows? I don't, I really don't know who called, but I mean, that was my guess, still is my guess to, to this day. Wow. Well, um, I, I just, um, I'm, I'm just so sorry there's there's no there's no words there's no words there's no words for the amount of grief that that I could express for for what you've experienced there just there just isn't i mean i'm not going to go into the experiences that i've had in the this you know whether it be the juvenile justice system the foster care system the family court system um you know i i just I'm I'm sorry. I'm just I so mean, sorry, and, and at least and at least at least at least she's with at least she's with your mom, right? right so right, right. so I mean, and this it's, is it's getting better, so. right. So I'm saying at least she's with your mother, right? Mm-hmm. So we're yeah. we're at least no, at least you, at least when anymore. you go to bed, she might not be with you, but at least when you go to when you put your head on the pillow and you go to sleep, at least you know she's with your mom. Oh right. Well, I mean, no matter what, it's right? Than your foster care, of course, of course. Exactly. So she. But, I mean, like it's just you know she wants to be with us so bad, and we want her to be with us so bad, and it's just Aww. you know, and like and she tells us that all the time, and it's just heartbreaking, you know. Well, I pray for you, and I hope that it sounds to me like hopefully you're you're in the right direction. I mean, maybe maybe after your mom, there will be. Maybe after your mom, yeah. there'll be another step closer to you, right? And right, right. And like I said, we're trying, we're trying now to uh, to find another place like closer, so we can, you know, get a two bedroom place, so she has her own bedroom, and um, mm. and hopefully we can, you know, get her get her more than than just every what, other weekend. What can what can we what can what can we what can what can, we, what, can do, what can we do to help you? I mean. This was just great to get, um, you know, to get it off. Get the, um, this whole podcast thing was uh, really great. Do some, do some research about 2012. Yeah, and all the. Um, Look at Riverside County in 2012, and you will see CPS. I, this is that I'm not the only person this has happened to. You know, like this is another thing. Like this was, this was like a like an epidemic almost. Of, like it just I was just gonna say that. You know, it happened to so many children in 2012. And if you had, and, and why do you think it happened? Because these oh, the money. Oh, they, the, there, there was a class. There was a class action suit. You watch. If you Google it, you'll you'll see. In 2012, the the CPS they all, uh, in Riverside County, they all got in trouble for for doing exactly what I'm telling you right now. God. 
it's just it's just it's just so sad it's just so heartbreaking it's just so disgusting it's just so enraging it's just you know everything does come down to money and right right exactly. and you know what i mean i i can't tell you how many times i was told by several directors if the beds aren't filled we don't get paid you know and it, it you know then we wow. have 2012 riverside this epidemic where you know, they're trying to cause all these pro well, not trying right. to, they did. Yeah, yeah, Google it and, and you'll see. I mean, you'll see the, the, there's parents out there that, that made their own website about 2012 in Riverside and they have like, and they have like. And so who's, who's, who's held accountable? Behind. So who, who do we help? Who's, who's being held accountable? I mean, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I mean. Uh, yeah, CPS needs to be held accountable. You know, so how so how is Riverside for, so from 2012 to 2020? County, County DP, uh, what do they call it? DP? Okay, DP, so yeah. how is how is Riverside from 2012 to 2022 being held accountable yeah. for doing this? That I don't know. Like I said, I saw I saw a couple websites of people like you know signing like out you know like people signing like a petition, but I don't I haven't seen anything uh, happen though. To find a lawyer that actually a lot of lawyers don't want to go up against these people. CPS. Right. You know, I mean, it's family yeah. court or whatever, and like, I, and for all I know, the um, the statute of limitations has probably already been, you know, have gone. You know, like I, mean, that I don't shouldn't even matter. I mean, that shouldn't matter. But I mean, you, uh, you know, like what they did destroyed our lives. With you know the way the way that we pictured our, our growing up with our child, they dismantled that. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you find out you're pregnant. It's a huge celebration, oh, and the whole pregnancy. You're planning. Right, pregnant. right. And then you spend your whole the whole nine the months and planning so the the planning planning everything. You know, right, right, right. <laughs> putting Man, the, the safety clips on the on the cupboards <laughs> and everything. No, I get it. And I mean, I'm for, and then for them just to rain on our parade and just and just come and and just destroy our lives, like. And you know, I did not know. I did not know the laws. You know, like if I wouldn't know the laws, I would have shut the door in their face and told them to get a warrant. You know, <laughs> because that, I mean, now that I now that I know right. The laws well, how would you have been a legal expert just being a new dad? <laughs> right, right, right. I just was like, oh, and my, like I said, well, we have nothing to worry about. We're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then uh, come come do it that uh, they didn't care if we didn't do anything wrong because they just like how our child looked. They liked the blonde hair, blue eyed, little beautiful baby that. And you just saw dollar signs is what they did. Oh, yeah. California's gonna, yeah. They saw dollar signs and they yeah, with it. The they should, I, I would love, I would love, um, if there was some way I could hold them accountable, I would love for that just so they could feel a little bit of the same pain that I There's had. There's a feel way for everything. Okay, all right. Okay. But, but that probably won't happen. Well... Um, actually anything's possible and that's how I live my life. And I don't know, maybe if, maybe if there's, I don't know, I, I'm a little bit of a loss for words, but all I can say is that I just want you to know that it has been a sincere pleasure having you and speaking with you. you both, Anthony and Lauren. And I, there's, there's no words to express my depth of sorrow for everything that you've experienced and if there's anyone out there listening who has experienced something similar we would love to have you on and and discuss it further and who knows maybe we can come and become a a little community to help each other i don't know you know maybe we can do a a, maybe we can call it like the 2012 riverside community i don't don't know but Mm -hmm. um, absolutely and please, please, I mean, if you ever get time, Google what I'm telling you to Google. It's, it's just, it, it's Oh, I will. I will. It's, Trust it's me. Absolutely. <laughs> it really is crazy, though. It's yeah. just, it'll blow your mind. We're, we're out of time, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I would love to have you back on again. Um, Thanks for having us so much. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. Don't don't hang up so right away. Um, okay. And we, um, if anyone would love to comment or call us, I can be reached at juvenilejusticeimpact at gmail.com. You can check us out at www.impactjji.com. Our website's under a little bit of a construction right now because we have so much that we're adding. You can always call us at 888-JJI-0010. Thank you so much for everyone who's been a guest on our show. We love it. We've had thousands and thousands and thousands of of listeners and we need everyone to subscribe subscribe 
So that way, if, if you subscribe, that means that the next podcast you're automatically going to get a, um, a link to, which is kind of cool. And please donate if you can. And thank you so much. And if there's um, Anthony, Arthur, and Lauren Hanley, Haney, please thank you for your time. And I'm so sorry for everything that you've gone through. And we'll be talking. Yeah, we'll, we will be talking a lot offline, of course, and getting to know each other a little bit more. And maybe there's something more that Juvenile Justice Impact that can help you with. We'll do anything we can to help you. And I don't say that lightly. So thank you so much for being our guests, and um, we'll be talking soon, I'm sure. All right. All right. Thank you.